All right, guys, today's video, I want to give you a little piece of valuable information you may find useful. Uh, even though the economy, the stock market is at all time highs and it scares the uh, bejesus out of me, uh, very hesitant to buy in anything right now at all time highs. But anyway, there is a thing you've seen it on the news with all these uh, congressional people making all these trades and becoming McMillionaires overnight from their paltry $175,000 a year government civil servant salary. These fools walk out of office or in office as multi-millionaires. And one of the most egregious Congress people is the old Pelosi woman, man. Representative Nancy Pelosi has filed two purchases recently of Palo Alto Networks ticker symbol P-A-N-W, just after making massive returns on her infamous NVIDIA, N-V-D-A, ticker symbol, positions last week. Yeah, interesting. Uh, Pelosi is not the only member of the corrupt Congress who has recently been buying into P-A-N-W, Palo Alto Networks, as seven members have made purchases over the last six months pretty interesting stuff where am i getting this crap from okay there is a site called quiver quantitative and that's what you're looking at right now quiver quant.com q u i v e r q u a n t dot com you can go in and search your favorite criminal in this case this lady woman, whatever, uh, you can uh, follow her and see all her purchases by law and by their office. They have to report these trades within 30 days, financial disclosure. Most do not. Most, uh, most go by the adage that uh, rules for thee, but not for me. And they won't report them until like 60 days or something. They really push it. But you can go through and see her network, look at this, this is insane. Come on guys, give me a break. Give me a break. These people do not represent the folks that elected them. No way at all. This is all a freaking grift. They get in there and make these trades, so-called inside trading, if you will, because they know the policies that are about to come out. NVIDIA especially, I, full disclosure, I owned NVIDIA, it was down 30%. It broke even for me, then I went up a couple thou, and I got out, but I should have held, didn't know, boom, thing went to the moon. Dumb Jim, dumb Jim. So do as I say, not as I do. But this is a great resource showing you what these fools are buying and uh, taking money and making money off their position in Congress. So here you can see NVIDIA. Of course, she was up 62% of my God. You can't even fathom this. And they do um, these call options with a strike price on when they can actually buy it after the uh, call option has expired. They have a choice, an option to buy it at a strike price. So right here, she's been buying PANW. She is a Californian, San Francisco. Yeah, yeah, I lived out there. It's it's totally not a place you want to be right now. You can't afford to live there. The crime's out of control. It's a it's a blue run city. It's horrible. It's a horrible, horrible place to be right now. Just get out of California, man. Oh my God. Anyway. Let's go on. So you can see she's got, it's up 9% since she bought it. And her, her um, she has 20 call options with a strike price of 200. And I think it's at 290 now. Let's go check. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, we're about PNW. My, oh boy, we're at 299. So yeah. So she bought it at the strike price. Going from Investopedia, my education on this stuff. She, I mean, she got it back here at 200. Or lower in here somewhere she got that that strike price so she's already up you know what i mean it's just amazing so up nine percent since she purchased it with this option i'm not totally clear on it but you can look up call options with a strike price and an expiration date it's weird she does it that way uh, instead of just buying it outright so she always gets these options man look and here's a here's a stock purchase Apple stock purchase, but with NVIDIA and PANW, she went with the options approach. Yeah, I mean, come on, come on, right? Come on, man. It's just, it's just amazing. Point being now, having said all this stuff, the information's out here. Go check out this site, see what's going on with these con congressional people, what they're buying, what they're selling, more importantly, 
and uh, you can actually dovetail on this again if I would have held on to Nvidia I'd be up um, 60 70 percent as well and looking at a nice little retirement package but you know I think small sometimes and I took my couple K profit and hit and ran which is stupid uh, what else has she had Microsoft Microsoft what are we all doing here she's buying oh she sold Apple Oh, she was losing it. It's funny. She purchased it. She lost it. So she loses a little bit here and there. All right. She's not infallible. She's probably scolding Tim Cook for not making her more, more McMillions. You just don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Oh, Netflix. Look at that. My God. Who thought you could make money off Netflix? Oh, this is 2022. And she sold it in 2023. Yeah, we're going too far back. Who cares? All right. So recently her recent stuff, again, she doesn't do a lot. She has 163 total trades. But the one she picks, my lordy, I think they set her up. I mean, she's old and crusty. I mean, geez, how many more years is, is she going to live to? I mean, how can she enjoy this money? Um, yeah, I don't know. Her, her hubby likes to go date men with hammers or something like that. It's very bizarre. Very bizarre people, man. Very weird. Uh, you get this amount of money and you're in politics. It's very strange uh, behavior going on. But what we all can agree on, these people know how to play the game and how to make money. You can look at this stuff and maybe follow suit. Uh, you could always lose everything. And she's throwing um, options with a strike price versus purchasing outright. But for fun and giggles, you can go in yourself and just start watching PANW and see what's going on with it. So it closed down today at down 296. Look at this, man. What happened here? What happened that I went from, whoo, that is bizarre. So she probably bought in about, oh, I can't tell. Maybe she bought in about here. You know what I mean? Something must have happened. Best cash cows to buy. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Palo Alto Network CEO explains his big push for market share. Probably just had lunch with Pelosi. And then he had made a little Barron's interview. Uh, jumps as it teams with NVIDIA. Oh, I see. They're teaming up with NVIDIA and others to provide private 5G. Interesting. So this is a week ago. All right. I see what's happening. She knew this deal was coming through because she's, is, again, this information on Qua, uh, Quiver Quantitative is about a month old. Oh, look. <laughs> Palo Alto. This is bizarre. She in and herself has become a trigger for stocks to go up because people realize she has inside information. So Palo Alto Network surges as Pelosi discloses purchase. Oh, my God. It did go up. Yep. Let's see. That's a week ago. Yeah, right about here. And then it shot up, and now it's kind of hovered off a little bit, but not down to before the news. Interesting. So she bought it this dip, guys. Come on. Oh, dear. Dear gosh. Anyway, what else we got? We have Representative Sri Thanadar. I have no idea who these people are. She filed sales of 15 securities, including multiple cryptos uh, and tech giants, Apple, Google, and Microsoft. So she is getting out. Shri, I don't know if it's a man or woman. Do not assume. All right, Representative Steve Cohen filed two bond purchases. Ooh, bond, why? Cohen, Cohen has a trade volume of almost $4 million. This guy loves trading, man. He just sits in those financial disclosure meetings just going, oh, oh, oh I better buy this one now. Yeah, we're going to put this regulation in place. And yeah, that means it'll go down and up. And you just don't know, man. It's all it's all amazing, this world. It's, it's in your face, too. They don't care. But hey, you can play and bitch and moan or follow along and maybe make a few pennies off of their insight, right? Uh, let's see. I'm trying to see what else is in this article I got. Uh, there's some patents filed from Microsoft, Bank of America, IBM. Uh, let's see with the recent headlines around Pelosi's trading. Uh, they actually track her portfolio. Uh, let's see with the recent headlines around her trading, including her purchase of NVIDIA and Palo Alto Networks. We have been keeping an eye, a close eye on the performance of, they call it the Nancy Pelosi strategy. <laughs> the NPS, big daddies. This strategy attempts to mirror the portfolio of common stock for Nancy Pelosi and her family, which is rebalanced when new trades or annual reports are reported. This strategy can be copy traded or analyzed as part of your due diligence. Yeah, there we go. Nancy Pelosi strategy. How do I get there? Uh, let's see. Her strategy has returned 46.61%, beating the market handily. You can try out features like this for yourself.
Let's see what else we got that. The U.S. Federal Reserve's confidence in cooling housing inflation making a result is to give a challenge in the near future. All right, this is just more stuff I'm reading. Uh, I want to try to find this for you. Where is it? It is Nancy Pelosi's strategy. Hold on. Is this it right here? That's her. Trade volume. Let's go over here. Uh, I am looking for it. Do you guys see it? I don't see it. Oh, here, politician search. I think I most popular. That's her. She's the most popular. Uh, let's see. There has to be a strategy. Portfolio. Here we go. So here's our portfolio. You can check it out. Wow, look at all this Apple, Apple. All this stuff. Disclosed holdings, Google, Amazon. Hey, you can see what's going Wow, look at 189.84 million. I bet she could really feed a lot of homeless people in San Francisco if she really wanted to, but you know how that works. Uh, let's see, stock, 71.8 million. She's got ownership, property, options. Yeah, the options are interesting to me. I need to learn more about those with the strike price. What's the benefit? I think it's you're agreeing to buy it at this price, hoping it stays above her $200 strike price, which then she'll pocket a more McMillian. What's she going to do all this money? It's, it's insane. I mean, come on. Years active, 1987. Wow. I mean, you guys at 83. Come on. There's not many years left to Christmas for her. But uh, I don't know, man. We have to have term limits for these clowns. But again, like I said, we can bitch and moan. Oh, she's almost got, look at this. Three strikes, Democrat, California House. Ugh. But anyway, bitch and moan, or you can just follow their lead and maybe make a few pennies to help pay your bills. I don't know. I'm going to watch this thing right here. I'm going to keep an eye on his PANW and see what's going to happen. Let's see. Best, let's look at the article five days ago. So not much news other than the Pelosi saying she has it in her holdings. Let's see. Best cash cows to buy. Cash cows bring in loads of free cash flow. That helped them sustain dividends and buybacks. All right. Who cares? Let's go down. Is this in here or not? Oh, here we go. Palo Alto. Oh, look at their little cute little logo. Uh, market value 101 billion with a B margin margin Palo Alto Networks 3114. Oh wait, what? Is, no wait, 314.75. How old is this article? April. This doesn't make any sense. PNW is 314.75. Oh wow, it dropped what? 15 bucks since this article. Interesting. Uh, it's a cybersecurity software company that generated $2.9 in free cash flow over the 12 months ended January 31st since Palo Alto Networks also produced uh, $7 billion in LTM revenue. But, all right, enough, blah, 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 enough of this crap. It's over my head. So they are a cybersecurity software company. That makes sense. There's been so many cyber attacks. Are they behind them? You never know. It's like, it's like, oh, buy our virus software. Well, they're, you're probably the people making the viruses. You know, you, it's like even the other things too. But, you know, I don't I want to say companies, but yeah. Oh, buy our, buy our software, virus software to protect your computer. Why? Because you guys are making those things to put on our computer. We need your software to get it off. You just don't know anymore. It's just got to wonder about things. Question everything. Question, doubt, but verify, right? Just doubt everything, question everything, and then you can verify it. All right, however, although Palo Alto Networks does not pay a dividend, it has been actively buying back its stock. Ooh. For example, in the last year, it repurchased roughly 317 million of its shares. That is a fraction of its stock market capitalization, but it still means that 206 billion was left over from its free cash flow. All right, whatever. Oh, let's see, it's piling up the cash. It turns out this top is a def Oh, wait, here we go. Here we go, big daddies. It's piling up the it's piling the cash up. It turns out this top stock is a defensive company that is simply storing its cash by buying long term investments. In the last year, uh, the long term investments have been by two billion. All right, you guys can read the rest of it. I thought it was going to say they are a defense contractor as well. That would have blew me out of the water. I said, I see what's going on here. Prepare for more war, America, the war machine. Peace. 
All right, that's all we are. We're a war machine. All right, let's go. This cash could be worth much more. Blah blah blah. Uh, let's see. Oh, now we're getting Microsoft. I don't really like Microsoft. Interesting. So there you go, guys. I just want to throw this out there. We're already way into this 15 minutes. Check out Quiver Quantitative right here, and look at your uh, look at your poster child stock girl for Congress, and uh, go forth make make uh, make lots of money if you can. I don't know. Not financial advice. But you can um, maybe learn from these folks and follow their lead. All right, I'm out.